What's up, Bobcap Nation? SKS here with what is the waning moments of our first season of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We had a rough loss last week. We didn't end the season as a str on a strong note like we wanted to. Horn went down with an injury in the game. The senior, who we benched partway through the season, Brent Dunbar, he tries to come into the game. He led it to a tie. Troy scores late. And we just couldn't persevere through. That brings us now to where we have a bye week. We have a couple of recruits visiting on campus. And then we'll find out what bowl game we are getting into if we get accepted into a bowl game. We have enough wins. We should. But you just never know. With that said, everything is done. Let's go ahead and go into week 15 and see what kind of damage we've done to our season. So going into the bye week, we have no recruits who have committed to us, but we're in a recruiting battle. It looks like we narrowed it down. Some of the ones that had three or four down, down to one and a couple with two. We had one recruit. He's super low, like a 63, locked us out. No big loss there. We'll have to go in here and see what is on the table for us. The worst possible thing happened to us. The University of Louisiana Monroe defeated Western, it looks like. And that bumped us down to fourth in the conference. Troy will win the conference. I really didn't think we'd finish middle of the pack. That, for our defense being what it is, we give up more points than we scored this year, and that is just not a recipe for success. That, that hurts. That's really going to hurt us in the bowl. We, we tied with Arkansas State in the conference. So I scrolled down here to check out the bowl games. It's Ohio State and Washington still the national title. University of Louisiana Monroe has now got the GoDaddy.com bowl. And Arkansas State is in the BBVA Compass Bowl. What is this? The New Orleans Bowl is Middle Tennessee State versus Troy. So at this moment... We are not invited to a bowl game. We don't have a game this week. There is a lot of six and six teams that are invited, but somehow we, we've we been knocked out because of our conference strength, I bet. Our season could be over, and we don't know. It's whatever happens on the bye week. I guess I'll go work on recruiting. I'll be honest, with recruiting, we've got a number of guys that are really close to committing. we got some visits this week. Hopefully, we can lock up some more. But we've got a lot more leaving than we do coming in. Um, and I dread the walk-ons that we'll be getting. Maybe we'll get some recruits that want to come in. Or not some recruits, some transfers, excuse me. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and advance the week and see what happens. And see if we get invited to a bowl game. I don't think anybody else in our conference has any more games, but I'll check the schedule to double C. Well, it looks like we picked up another center. We got Bobby Norton, who has joined, and we're still in a... Anthony Rogers committed to Georgia State. You backstabber. All right, we got our golden goose with the other quarterback. But some of these other guys, I'm worried about... They may just not commit anywhere, and then we're kind of up Crap Creek. There was a couple of linemen that we really, really, really wanted. And that safety, I really wanted Cobbs. I thought we had him locked in. I've learned a lot from recruiting this year. I think next year hopefully will be different. If I get the chance, I may not have a job. Or Brett Conquest may not have a job. All right, it's conference championship week. We don't have a conference championship. So Troy, the Troy Trojans of Alabama are our conference champion in the Sun Belt. Uh, in recruiting, everybody else left on our list. We are, we've made the cut, so we'll have to go after them in the off season. Uh, I think there was only one person who kind of locked us out. Or no, 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 he committed to Georgia State. That's right. So, um, but other than that, we've got some key players, but just not enough. I mean, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven recruits. I. And I know we've not met all of our needs. We still, well, we'll get a walk on fullback. We don't usually use a fullback. Um, and then hopefully we get the linebacker and the defensive tackle. That was one of the things we were working on. 
If not, it's going to weaken us in some key areas that I'm just not happy about. But we'll have to see what goes on. I'm still thinking that we are not going to make a bowl game, even though we're 7-5, and five, which is an injustice because nowadays every team who is six wins or better seems to get on or an invite to a thing, but I think because of our conference standing, we're going to get knocked down. But I'm going to advance the week, and we'll see. This could be a very lackluster episode and a heartbreaking season uh, for Coach Conquest in his first uh, stint here at Texas State. Come on, please. <laughs> Come on, game. We're seven and five. Seven and five. Wow, the Heisman race was nothing but a bunch of quarterbacks this year. McCutcheon from Texas A&M seems like he uh, picked it up. Most first place votes. He'll win by over 100 points. Disappointment sets in at Texas State University as we did not get a bowl game invite. Those two losses at the end of the season knocked us out of playing in a bowl game. That's This is the most disappointed I've ever been playing. In our first year contract, our target wins was five. We got seven. And the athletic director states, Coach, if you want to have a job this time next year, we better be in a bowl game. Go through the bowl games here just to see who from our conference got in. Obviously, Middle Tennessee State versus Troy is probably the marquee matchup. I don't think Troy got I think Troy got a little disrespected there going eight and four. I mean, Middle Tennessee State is eight and four also, but look at the conference records. Arkansas State. Seven and five, four and three in our conference. Got the bowl game call for the BBVA Compass Bowl. And I'm sure that University of Louisiana Monroe got the call for the GoDaddy.com bowl. So what surprises me here is that Western Kentucky, who finished second in our conference, did they not get an invite? There's Western Michigan. So this doesn't even make sense. Troy, who won our conference, gets an invite to the bowl game. University of Louisiana Monroe, who is like second in the conference or tied for second or third, gets an invite. But then Arkansas State, who has the same record as us, gets an invite. So not only do we get screwed, but Western Kentucky also got screwed in our conference. Well, I guess some bright spots for this terrible season. Uh, Omar Mangum set the season record for sacks with 17, breaking the 1982 record at the school. All right, just checking to see how our conference did in the bowl games. Middle Tennessee State beat Troy by one point. That was a good game in the New Orleans Bowl. Too bad we didn't get to watch that. Arkansas State, I guess, showed up. They defeated Syracuse and finished with probably the best record in the uh, the conference. They'll tie with uh, Troy. And then U University of Louisiana Monroe won a tight game against Northern Illinois. So two of the three teams from our conference won. And the national championship was a blowout. Washington spanks Texas A&M 52-20. Looking at some of the other big games, Georgia Tech over UCF, Missouri over Oklahoma State, the Cards of Louisville upsetting Ohio State in overtime. Nice. I would love to see that again. We got a long way to go. Our counterparts in Texas, Texas won big against Notre Dame. Alabama finished 11-2, second in the country. Steve Humphrey, our middle linebacker, who's a sophomore, uh, he finished second team all NCAA All American, so congrats to him. For All Americans for the All Sun Belt, Tom Sutton is on there for halfback. 
Mangum on there for left in. Uh, Johnny Summers, defensive tackle, Humphrey. Sadly, some of these guys are seniors and we'll be saying goodbye to them. Gore also leaving us. He's on there. Stanley somehow. I don't know how. Falks would be your returner, All-American. Let's see if we got any on the second team. Fogle, Parker on there. Kendrick, not bad. See, our defense won all these awards, but yet we allowed so many more points. And as John Madden says, the team that scores the most points usually wins the game. That wasn't us all season. All right, Gamer Nation, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. It's a short one. I apologize for our failure. Coach Conquest will have to face the media and give some answers about what we're going to do for next season. What is going to happen? The 7-5 and five Bobcats, who I think deserved a bowl game, did not get a bowl game. Um, and we're going to lose a lot of players. So his moves in the offseason, recruiting-wise, and I know that some people have made some comments that they're worried about his recruiting efforts. That could, we could sink or swim, uh, depending on that. So, hope you enjoyed this first season. I'll do an off-season episode to show all the new people we're bringing in and some of the new stuff, and we'll go from there. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless. I'll see you all next time, and hopefully greener pastures await us. Night, Gamer Nation.